So inside the firecrackers to me is like a lot of things. So many times we see the players in action and they're always being talked to. So the coaches are talking to them, coaches are coaching them, and we're always in command. What we want you to do is we want you to get an inside look on what it is when the firecrackers are training and hear them, hear them laughing, hear them talking to each other, see how they make mistakes, but they're not worried about things. They're not overly concerned about making mistakes. A relaxed environment, we got the music going, we got a table full of candy over here but it's really build confidence with successful repetition. So we're just doing a lot of like what we call backyard games, schoolyard games and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. See you when I get back. Look at you on camera, look at you. This is what we call a tag station. And this is for our players to learn how to not only catch the ball, but tag to the base as quick as possible. So we have a little fun with some tennis balls. We're gonna bounce the ball on the ground. They're just gonna work on catching it and getting that glove to the base as fast as they can. We don't want their sliding here or coming here. We want to cut it off right here. Boom, tag, boom, tag, boom on the slide by, tag, boom, there. But not here, not out there. Okay, so it's gonna be right in this area. And let's not see like three of them. Okay, so the first one will go slow. Now we go a little quicker. I think, we, I think we set up two last time. Remember we were going here and then there? We're doing ground ball drills to work on our funneling and then sidearm throws into the net. Most of the drills we're doing in here are built on slower speeds and just doing things correctly. We're not worried about making mistakes. So the hurdles are helping their footwork so we get a little more hop out of their feet. There's a lot of different philosophies. You know, you, it's like cooking. Ask 10 people how to cook spaghetti, they're all going to have 10 ideas. So when you start talking about training and softball, everyone's got a different idea on what they want their hands to do and different things like that. We're just reproducing positions that we see when we shoot our kids on video. We're seeing the same type of fundamentals without getting too technical right now. Once I get this machine set where I want, I'm going to have Tony step in for me and then he's just going to handle the repetition. Contact. The first ones are like easy swings and then we work up to a hard swing. I'm a slapper so I don't really hit that often. <laughs> but the inside pitch is probably like a go-to pitch for a pitcher to get a strike. You're going to see one of them in the game so why not practice it to be your best at it. And if that goes right into your swing, it's a perfect, it's a perfect thing to keep practicing. Vibes are always fun in here. We always have a great time. At the end, we always do something funny to like line everything up. We always have some type of challenge or something. So, uh, yeah, Tony totally keeps things light, light for us here. Still hard at the same time though. <laughs> My brother played baseball, so I kind of just wanted to do what he was doing. I always just stuck to softball, and since I was like six, t-ball and everything. Well, I'm committed to South Carolina, so going to college is the ideal situation. That's what I've been working for, to get a scholarship and go to college for it. how relaxed players are when they train. I want other players to see our players relaxed when they train. 
players are too self-conscious most of the time when they're training in softball. So just relax and have fun. We've got the most simple looking drills. A lot of people would look at these drills and think there's not much to them, but they're missing it. It's not so obvious. There's a lot of science and there's a lot of mentality in the simple things that we're doing, but this whole environment is based on having fun. Okay, so we're getting down towards the end of the workout. So they're clearing the walls. We're gonna create some space in the walls. And we call this the point of contact drill. So they're gonna line up around the walls and we're just gonna work on a position with our hitting and get them familiar with the, what we call the contact point. So we're gonna finish up with this and we're gonna have a little fun and wrap it up tonight. Get out of here. Just we'll just uh, switch out and fill in, all right? Good, so go ahead and take a look here. Hold that space between the two feet like a triangle, right? Foot to foot, up to the belly button, back down to the foot. Should be a triangle, we shouldn't have our feet too close together. All right, go ahead and find the contact point again. Go. Roll. Go. Roll. Whoa. <laughs> you got a killer over here. <laughs> Shift. Go. Good. All right. Walk the bounce over here. Breathing routine. Where do we look? At the barrel of the bat, not the handle. All right. Inhale. Breathe in. Step in the box. Step in the box. A little wag, a routine, whatever it is. When I stop moving, then you're in your stance. Stance. Shift. You're going to swing easy and hold your follow through when I release the ball. Go. Hold. Where is the end of your swing? Okay, one foot out of the box. This is where you think adjustments, not what you're doing wrong. So here's what happens. A stressful moment hits and you're out of air on two here. In a game, you're having trouble even breathing slowly. So the whole reason of getting used to exhaling for five seconds is to calm it down that much. Your ability to slow the game down in the, in the highest crisis time is really key to us being successful. So a five second exhale here will be a two or three exhale, two or three second exhale on the field. So if you're doing it in two or three here, then your in-game stress breath is gonna look like this. And you're not gonna be ready. Not against the best at the highest level. Okay, so let's get a good five second exhale here. And it'll be the last one, all right. Look at the barrel, breathe in, shoulders up. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Complete silence, complete calm. Now in the box. It's time to impose the will. Hands up. Shift. Go. Hold. Good, okay, let's put the bats against the wall. Got about two minutes and we're done. It's like music, Luke. We gotta find the drummer. We gotta find the tempo to this drill. Bounce. It's a vibe, it's a good vibe, it's always, only Everywhere.